Has the lack of harmony among team members at your place of work impacted overall productivity and project timelines? Has there been an increase in turnover that might be related to interpersonal issues within the team? Both of these questions lead you in the right direction for identifying the business problem presented by people not getting along. Too often I hear leaders dismiss the people issues as personality clashes and there's not much to be done. But alas, there is much to be done. When differences and conflicts are left unchecked without leadership intervention, people become dissatisfied, distracted, and disturbed. This fosters problems on many levels within an organization. What leader hasn't had to deal with people not getting along? No matter how seasoned or not, employees come from so many walks of life, there are bound to be differences and clashes. I've been there, and I'm sure you have been too. The important thing is to take action. Here's an example. Sarah was known for her creative flair and attention to detail, while John was a numbers guy, adept at data analysis and market trends. Initially, their diverse skill sets seemed like a perfect match. However, their different approaches soon led to friction. Sarah preferred brainstorming sessions filled with colorful charts and mood boards, while John favored spreadsheets and statistical models. Their meetings turned into shouting matches while they clashed over creativity versus analysis. People didn't want to keep working with them. It's important to take the pulse of the organization periodically, not annually, but perhaps quarterly, if not monthly. Include a look at the bottom line numbers, but also pay attention to the work climate, the atmosphere. Here's a strategy often used. On a scale of zero to 10, with 10 being the best, where would you rank the organization's health, the people, the projects, your department, and the leadership? What are two things that you would like to see changed? What kinds of challenges are you facing? What's the health of your organization on the scale of zero to 10? I encourage you to be bold. Share in the comments section below. Together we can learn and figure out solutions to the challenges.